Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming to this month's Surka Supper. Uh, it's it's always a pleasure to uh, to be here and to be performing with uh, great artists. But it's uh, a special cherry on top when it's an artist that is so young, so superbly talented and accomplished at such a young age, and with with some with with someone that I've had the pleasure of working with now for ten years since I. Uh, move back to Pakistan. So, uh, this performance is almost a celebration of the 10 years with the fantastic, electrifying, superbly gifted Sheroz Hussain. <laughs> Have I lost Sheroz? <laughs> He's going to set his hair. He'll be right out. <clears throat> Uh, I'll, I'll uh, tell you a little bit about Sheroz while uh, he's, he's to arrive. Sheroz is the eldest son of Ustad Sajid Hussain, who is one of the greatest sitar players in Pakistan and uh, is from the line of musicians, the seventh generation of musicians, well, Sheroz is the eighth, I believe, uh, from Tan Sen's lineage. And therefore, they belong to the Senia of Tansen, Senia Gharana. And uh, the Senia Gharana is famous for its Rabab players, Sarod players, Sitar players. Uh, um, mainly it is a Gharana uh, for these instruments. And of course is an offshoot, is a branch of the, the bigger Gharana called Gwalior, Gwalior Gharana. Sheroz. Sheroz has been performing since the age of six and I, I had the pleasure of seeing him on stage uh, at that time when I barely knew him and uh, he was performing before uh, the legendary artist Ustad Rais Khan, the late Ustad Rais Khan was in the audience when Sheroz was performing and I remembered that everybody cheered him on just for coming on stage and starting to tune the sitar. I mean, at, at a young age of six, people wondered what would he even know about tuning. <laughs> but by then, he was already tuning this instrument and he, had, he was also singing and playing along. So today, you're going to hear uh, these two dimensions of Sheroz. One is the sitar uh, artistry and also his melodious, mellifluous voice. So. The rag which I am going to be playing is rag Rageshri. Sometimes it's known as Rajeshwari as well. It's played uh, in the later parts of the evening. I'll start with an alab. An alab is basically the explorations of notes and uh, making the relationships between the notes and exploring the rag, it has a character. So in Alab, there's no tempo, there's no rhythm. I'll make uh, the rhythm myself when I'll be playing Jod Alap, which is right after the Alap. So I'll be creating the tempo myself with the strings so that you can uh, see how's, how, how that's followed. So sh should I begin? Ijazat aap sabki? Thank you. So I would request the people sitting here, can, can they please come in front? I know the back hurts, but young man I know that doesn't need a backrest <laughs> <laughs> and he's also learning tabla. <clears throat> Sharos, can you uh, introduce the notes of this rag particularly? Just a quick overview before you start the alap. Sa ga ma da ni sa 
speciality of our gharana is that we play the gaiki style of the music the, uh, the playing of the sitar
Can you can you feel the tempo, the pulse?
I'll play a composition in a rhythmic cycle of seven beats. Tin, tin, na, din, na, din, na. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
next composition. It's just uh, like random improvisation.
ऐसी कॉम्पोजिशन है जो उस्तादों से सुनी है वो आप लोगों को सुना
Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Most of the communication is such spontaneous, it's me anticipating what he's about to do, him seeing, you know, where he could try to, you know, <laughs> give me a challenge. Huh? In this particular case, he is driving a Lamborghini <laughs> and I am in a Suzuki Swift. <laughs> so, so, there is no... Uh, Overtaking here, um, I, I must say that I think uh, this is the culmination of 10 years of a musical relationship and uh, his father was not here before, our tradition first is that we take the permission of our seniors, these ustads, and I, I've been very lucky to have been in the company of such great stalwarts, diamonds in the rough. देखिए मैंने ये है तो मेरा छोटा भाई आपके सामने बच्चा है तो मुझे इस इस मुआवजे को देखते हुए एंट्री टिकट रखनी पड़ती है मुनासिबत से लेकिन आज आपने ये तो देख लिया होगा कि जो मैंने एंट्री रखी है इसकी वो कम है बहुत कम है This music is, uh, was never for the masses. It was for people that would like to slow down a little bit and just soak in something. This is not going to be in 5 minutes. It is not going to be in 5 minutes. And uh, my first time, I have been in the past, in Pakistan, in this door, in Karachi. मेरे उस्ताद जी उस्ताद खुशी दुसैन जिन्होंने मुझे इस काबिल किया है कि मैं इनके साथ बैठ सकूं वैसे तो मैं हूं बर्गर बच्चा जैसे कहते हैं ठीक है अच्छा हां बर्गर बच्चा अच्छा ठीक है तो इस बन कबाब के साथ बैठने के लिए बहुत मेहनत करनी पड़ती है <laughs> पहले तो मैं उस्ताद साजिद हुसैन से Ensemble of classically trained musicians in which uh, Ustaz Sajid Hussain, Sheroz, and one more performer who I'm going to introduce you to next is amongst us. And these musicians have, we've been <coughs> trying to uh, uh, perform this music in a, in a newer fashion, something that was more palatable for the youth. Um, Surga Safar is for those people that a little bit more seasoned listeners and we are so lucky that uh, I recently joined Habib University and uh, we had slowly developed a program by which 
we can make a case for music as being something that's so important for students to learn. And not just any kind of music, South Asian music. South Asian music is one of the most advanced, intellectually, aesthetically, spiritually compelling forms of music in the world. And guess who does not know much about it? South Asians. And this is, the Mughals did not make many universities, the, uh, the Nawabs and the Rajas did not do much in terms of intellectual prol proliferation in North India at least. But this is a legacy that they have left behind. It's your musical inheritance. And it's a shame that the youth have no idea about it. So we did an experiment. The, thanks to the Mashukula family, they donated a large sum of money to open a music room. And now the musicians of Tars group, or Sajid Hussain, Islamuddin Mir Sahib at the back, uh, one of the <laughs> best violinists and harmonium players in Pakistan. Uh, myself, my Ustad Ji, Ustad Khurshid Hussain, and another young, very promising vocalist, Shahzeb Ali, who is the student of Ustad Mahmud Ali Khan Sahib. They started this program free for students enrolled in the university, music lessons around their class schedules. We thought we'd get a few students interested. They are now teaching a total of 130 students wow. within the span of six months. Less than six months. Less than six months. Six months, and there is. It's like that music room has become a mecca uh, for people to come in, learn. They want to sit in his classes, even if they're not learning an instrument. They want to sit in the violin lessons. Uh, they want to sit for tabla, vocals, and there's always a buzz in that room. And I think that if more institutions, we have to rely on institutions now. If more institutions did something like this. This is just 130 is the starting point. This music is accessible to, to the youth, it is. If only it's taught in a way which is scientific as well, which is logical, which involves mathematics. I'm teaching courses there like music and mathematics. And the bulk of the course, especially the mathematical part, is South Asian. So this is something that I think that uh, is worthy of celebration. And so if you're not going to invest your time in learning the music, then invest your money in having this music be learned. But it's very important. I'd like to invite on stage Islamuddin Mir Saab, master violinist and a great harmonium player, and one of our senior members of Thurs group who has been uh, helping us. From <laughs> I thought it best that if Sheroz is going to do some vocal renditions tonight, then he should have the best kind of a compliment. Bhad bhad shukriya Samin sahab.
it's a privilege to perform with him and to accompany him as a vocalist.
Thank you. I would like my brother to come up on stage and play the sitar. Shahzad Hussain and Sitar. He's 16 years old. <laughs> Yes. 
अब तक दिल खुश फहम तो है तुझसे उम्मीद अब तक दिल खुश फहम है तुझसे उम्मीद अब तक दिल खुश फहम को है
وقت کی قید میں زندگی ہے مگر چند گھڑیاں یہی ہے جو آزاد ہے چند گھڑیاں یہی ہے جو آزاد ہے ان کو کھو کر میرے جانے Yeah. 
भजन की लाइन आपको सुना दो Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for supporting T2F.